uh, welcome back to cyber security uh, so last week uh, or not the last week but the, in the first video we talked about uh, what is the SQL injection and and how does the mechanism of the SQL injection works at the back end like how do you form a query how do you inject the payload how does the payload translate it into the application and to the database etc right so we, we learned very basics of that and which was I thought very essential for the beginners now what we gonna see today is the client side control bypass so oftentimes application or sometimes developer things like you know having the clients and controls is sufficient to uh, prevent the any injection attacks not just the SQL uh, but that's not entirely true and there are several ways we can do that and and today we're gonna deep dive into uh, some of those and we'll also see a demo of how to do that right so uh, there, there are two types of control there is one which is client side control and there is a second which is server side now to effectively prevent uh, SQL injection uh, I would say like you know server side control is uh, mandatory which is uh, very much required uh, because client side one can easily bypass and and what I meant by the client side is uh, suppose you have uh, like you know the system uh, attacker system where you are where you, where you are loading the page or any application now any application which sends the traffic to the application server uh, and you can install a proxy or you can intercept the traffic in between right and and we have done numerous videos on what is bird proxy what is OASAP these are some open source proxy you can also uh, have like you know temper monkey which is an add-on uh, you can install into the browser and it, it gives you the same functionality I just like to have this individual proxy because it provides much more features and mechanism so yeah so going back here so if the attacker system any traffic leaves here it goes first to the uh, bar suite which is a proxy and then you can modify any traffic you want you want and then it will go to the application server so that's the benefit of having the proxy now what does it mean by having the client side control is the control are implemented within the client so suppose your browser is your client your system is a client now suppose if you as an attacker you give like you know uh, everything normal uh, information which application requires so application will say yeah this is all good uh, we, I don't have any con uh, I don't have any issue with that it's gonna forward that information to the proxy here now in the proxy uh, you have all the all the control here so you can change your payload you can change uh, like you know your query anything you would like so here if you change the query at the proxy then there is no validation uh, like you know when it goes to the server side and that is what the client side control is now if you haven't understood so far that's fine uh, we'll take a quick example on how to uh, like you know uh, bypass such control and, and how to uh, still do the uh, SQL injection right so let me uh, let's jump on to our uh, VM and here is the mutual application which we used uh, for the basic bypass right so what we did in the uh, previously so actually let me uh, have this notepad as well so you understand so I think previously we started with like you know error based injection where we and had it like uh, we entered the single code which gave us what the query formation looks like and then we formed our query and then what we did was we had like we used and or or statement like you can use whatever you like but we tried like you know we inserted this payload and, and it got executed and uh, we were able to uh, log in without knowing the real uh, username or password so for example if I say AAA and 1 is equal to 1 so let's do let's try that first here right so if I do this one uh, as you can see I had the query and the exception occurred that means I'm not able to uh, bypass uh, to this uh, particular injection attack right or, or bypass this control and then the next one uh, that we tried was uh, using the like you know hash at the end so that what it does is it suppresses the error because it's gonna uh, comment out the rest of the query and and then we were easily be able to bypass and we we're able to log in now as you can see none of this is happening uh, and now let's toggle the security and as you can see here security level has changed to one which is a client set security so what we will uh, let's try the same payload again and as you can see here now we will see dangerous characters are detected we can't allow this this is all powerful blacklist will stop such attempts much uh, padlocks filtering cannot be defeated blacklist is right so uh, in short like it's not allowing us to 
put any special characters and of course without that we won't be able to bypass so like even if i put the single character uh it's not gonna let me do that so how do you do this uh, because as i said like this is a client side so let's try to first examine uh, page source i think this might be somewhere in the page like in the javascript it has and be able to uh, uh yeah so there you go so if it detects any of this it says like you know it sends out this uh, notification and and this is part of the javascript now there are several ways you can bypass the javascript one there is there is an add-on you can install in the browser which disables all the javascript on the given page and then you can put your payload whichever it was in previously and then you can easily and the second way of doing it is using the proxy, which is like Burp Suite, which I already have installed and, and configured with the browser. If you don't know about the Burp Suite, uh, I, I have several videos in, in our playlist, I think at the AppSec tools. So you can uh, go through it and, and learn about the basics of the Burp Suite, how to install, how to configure, etc. cetera. Uh, so let's do this. So uh, what we will do is, of course, we cannot enter any special character here. So for example, our goal is to bypass it and, and for that we need like a, uh, comment out rest of the query or or at least put our payload which is this one right but we are not able to do this because of the client side security and i do not have any browser add-on installed uh, because i want to demonstrate uh, using the burp suite so let's do that um, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn the intercept on and here i'll i'll place like you know normal uh, characters which application should allow me because uh, there is no special characters involved and let me forward this and here as you can see uh, username AAA and password a right so now what I'm gonna do is let's replace this payload with our attack and what we have uh, actually I don't need to put on both of it because either of condition will will hold true but anyway so here as you can see here um, we will be login as an admin user uh, and then we have our condition one is equal to one which is always true and then I have commented our rest of the query so actually this is not going to be applicable anyway now let's forward this request actually let's turn the intercept off and as you can see now we are log logged in so what we uh, did was as I saw as I like you know showed you the in the previous slide that uh, usually uh, the client side security uh, is only uh, applicable or only restricted to your browser as soon as the traffic goes out of the browser application has no control over it and that is a bad bad practice so and that you can easily bypass using the buff suite or any other proxy tools uh, so this is like you know uh, another uh, ways of exploiting like whenever you detect uh, you make sure you review the page source and, and you make sure the controls are when you're trying like you know doing the pen test don't just rely on uh, like you know controls the application presence because you have to still verify whether those controls are client side or server side and and today we just saw the client side but in the future video i'll also show you uh, like there are server side controls and then we can still be able to bypass those controls and actually we have done some uh, some videos in the past as well so you can you can watch those as well but this are this will be like you know uh, something uh, something similar but something new that I'm gonna show you in the future videos uh, so that's it for now uh, I hope you like it I have also put the like timestamp into the videos as well so which you can uh, click through and, and jump onto the specific section you like uh, and that was a great suggestion from one of the viewers so thank you so much for that and uh, if you have any other questions feel free to uh, comment in the section below uh, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video uh, thank you for your support and I'll see you guys next week bye